Hello everyone, welcome back to another interesting video and in this one we are doing a speed test between the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro Max. And this one right here is the iPhone 16 in a beautiful teal color and 128 gigabytes. So the base, base model, the cheapest one available. And uh, this one right here is the iPhone 16 Pro Max in black titanium and one terabyte model. So the cheapest one to the most expensive phone that Apple makes as of now. So we will go ahead and uh, turn these babies on and we will start the test and we'll see. So this is not a fair comparison, but still, if you are still waiting to decide which one you are going to buy between uh, the pro and the regular models so, so this will uh, this video will help you do just that so let's turn them both on one two and three all right and let's see which one pulls the lead Okay, uh, oh, nice. Okay, so the regular iPhone 16 was much, much faster, as you can see. This one turned on at least three three seconds quicker than the, than the Pro model. And let's go ahead and unlock these. All right, as you can see, both of them are currently at 100% charge and no SIM card inside. And we will switch this one to silent as well. And uh, as you can see, both of them Bluetooth on, AirDrop contacts only, so Wi-Fi connected. And both of them are brand new devices and uh, the battery health on both of them is 100% as well so everything is exactly the same brightness set to the max but there is one advantage this one has a pro motion display like a minimum to 1 hertz and maximum to 120 hertz this one is a 60 hertz panel but brightness levels on both of these are exactly the same so we will begin by using the normal first party applications and then we will move to a little bit of social media, then content consumption, then our beloved chat GPT. And then we will crank it up and uh, moving to the really, really hard, really, really heavy games. And uh, after that, as you can see, the games that I have installed here are all really, really high end. And uh, one of them is uh, like, not one, two, three of them are like full-fledged console and PC games. And then we will move to the creative applications, camera, Final Cut camera, LumaFusion, and iMovie. And we will also do a video exporting test, four minutes video 4K 30 FPS in LumaFusion as well as iMovie, and we'll see how they perform. And then we'll do a speed test of the Wi-Fi or the internet. And uh, then we will move to the other synthetic benchmarks. So this is the layout and we will jump into the conclusions. And uh, so sit tight and uh, relax. Enjoy the video. Let's begin. Right. So this one was a little bit quicker on the right hand side. So the 16 Pro Max model. And also, I instead of referring them by their full name, I'll be going right and left side. So left side is the regular 16 and uh, right side is the Pro Max. And so in the App Store, they were uh, almost exactly the same, but they, they wobble a lot because like this one too much. This one is still OK because this one has a larger, wider camera bump. This one is uh, the camera bump is not as wide. So that's why this one is wobbly but still we will be moving on with the test and uh, let's go to apple store one two and three okay so i think this one was i'll have to give it to the left hand side was just by a split second and now we will move to the calculator app and that was exactly the same on both of them. So I didn't see any difference. But if I'm wrong, if you see any difference, or if I say something wrong, please correct me in the comments below. And we will go for the news. OK, 
Okay, this one was exactly the same as well and uh, not a huge difference and also just want to mention both of them has 8 gigabytes of RAM. This one is A18 chip and this one is A18 Pro chip. And now we will move to the Snapchat, like a little bit of social media and there we go. Okay, this one was essentially quicker on the 16 Pro Max. This one opened up the application just a couple seconds before than the other one and now we will go for the netflix and we'll see which one okay so again 16 pro max in the lead just by a split second not a huge difference again and uh, we will move to chat gpt this one was again a little bit quicker by a split second on the right hand side 16 pro max because it opened up the chat and uh, these suggestions really quick as compared to the left hand side so now is the time to up the ante and uh, we will go to the video games and the first one is a really hard one assassin's creed mirage and one two and three And uh, this game is uh, quite a huge game, so it will take uh, take some time to load, so I don't blame it. And that's why, okay, so the 16 Pro Max is in the lead in this one so far. And uh, yeah, so by just by one second, the 16 Pro Max is, okay, yeah, again, 16 Pro Max is pulling the lead here, but we'll wait for it to finish and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yep, 16 Pro Max still, 16 Pro Max loaded it much, much quicker as compared to the 16 regular. And now we will go for Call of Duty, one of the most popular games. Again, 16 Pro Max is much, much quicker and uh, same result as we saw in the previous game. 16 Pro Max is in the lead, but we will wait for it to finish completely. And, uh, okay, so these both are were logged in, but it's still prompted for the login screen. Okay, so 16 Pro Max, couple seconds quicker again. So pulling a huge lead as of now, and we will go for the Farming Simulator 23. And no one really plays Farming Simulator. This one, like Farming Simulator games on mobile devices are very, very poorly optimized. But still, for stress testing, it's worth it. One, two, and three. Okay, exactly the same. I wasn't able to see a difference, but this is just game's UI. The, the real loading process we will begin in a moment. So we'll have to click continue to properly uh, begin the test. And uh, now we will see which one loads quicker. And I see the 16 Pro Max is by a split second quick. Yeah, just by a split second, not a huge, huge difference right there. And now we will go for the Genshin Impact. So this one is a really heavy, heavy game. And uh, Genshin Impact, let's open it up. Okay, so the logo appeared on the regular 16 just a little quicker. But now, as the loading starts, uh, the 16 Pro Max is in the lead. And uh, we will quickly start it at the same time. One, two, and three. And let's see which one. Okay, so the 15, 16, sorry, 16 Pro Max is in the lead by a couple seconds again. And we will tap to begin. And we'll see the real loading process, how much the game takes to load into the playable uh, playable part. Okay, again, just one and a half or two seconds difference. This one loaded up quick. I'll have to give it to the right-hand side again. And now time for the definitive edition Grand Theft Auto video games. And let's go for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And I've seen a lot of the times this game crashes on ios devices but i'm not sure if that will be the case in this test and we will see how it goes because uh, these games are pretty heavy and the port was happened 
okay almost exactly the same i it's a draw in uh, in these phones and now we will go for gta y city and i'll have to keep on tapping on it in for uh for skipping the some loading arts and screens okay this one was just a little not a huge difference just a little bit quicker on the right hand side so again the 16 pro max not a huge difference again so both of these games i'll call it a draw and not even not a fair comparison as well because the loading animation rolls that you will need to skip so there is not a uh there is no option to tell or no way to tell which one loaded in that animation quicker so these two games but still almost fairly the same and now we will move to pubg mobile that is one of my favorites so i play that game a lot whenever i'm playing on my phone one two and three and uh, this one will be definitely quicker on the right hand side so pro max has a bigger gpu pro chip bigger cpu and uh yeah so this one should be quicker on the right hand side Okay, well, that was interesting. So, um, like, in the process of the loading first, uh, the right-hand side was just by a split second quicker, but this option screen opened on the regular 16 a little bit quicker. Right, now for the time to move to War Thunder Mobile, and uh, that is one of the really high-end games as well. And uh, that one also supports ray tracing and should be running best on uh, the latest current gen iPhones. So let's chat test that. Okay, the 16 showed the picture of the loading before and oh, okay, the 16 is uh, moving a little ahead, as you can see. So 16 is faster in War Thunder. Okay, well. Okay, there is almost two seconds difference in the loading time of War Thunder and the iPhone 16 left hand side is much much quicker in War Thunder loading. I have a full video planned for War Thunder as well because this game has really high end graphics and gives you a lot more control on the settings and uh, we will be able to test which device is pushing more frame rates even though the left hand side is only 60 hertz panel and the right hand side is 120 hertz. Um, uh, but still, it'll be nice to see how the CPU and GPU performs in A18 and A18 Pro chips. And as we're done with the video games, now for the creative applications, we will move to the camera. And the camera was just a tiny bit quicker on the right hand side. And now let's move to the Luma Fusion and iMovie. So we will be doing the loading test first and then we will come back to them for the export test. So one, two, and three. Okay, Luma Fusion loaded up quicker on the right hand side, but it decided to show this error message on here we're sorry the app had a problem starting last time but that's not this time this time it started up just fine and uh, i'm not sure why it sometimes shows that error message but this one is pretty well optimized for these phones and uh, we will come back and do the test in a bit and uh Let's move to the iMovie and uh, this is a first party application and see which one loads up quicker. Okay, as you can see, the right hand side was quicker by just a split second and move to the Final Cut camera. As you're not, if you're not aware, the Final Cut camera is a manual camera by first party Apple applications. And uh, so if you're using a third party manual camera, then you might want to switch to this one. This is a really, really good one. It was specially developed for iPads final cut but uh, works really really well as a standalone as well but this is not a review video for the applications just doing a stress test and before we move to the synthetic benchmarks we will do an export test and uh so exactly the same video three minutes and 59 seconds in here 4k 30 fps let me quickly pull up the exact same export settings 4k 30 fps standard 50 megabits per second and we will click start at the same time 
Okay, as you can see, we have started the export, exactly the same video and uh, exactly the same frame rate and everything. But as you can see, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is pulling a huge, huge lead and putting those GPU cores to work. And uh, the A18 Pro chip is showing its real, real potential here. And uh, so because of the bigger GPU and the better GPU, the screen will be able to push really high frame rates when you're gaming. And uh, if you want to go for this phone right here and save some money, that is also a good option. But you will be missing out on the higher refresh frame rate. And I'm really disappointed with Apple because uh, this is close to like I paid for this phone after tax was 1250 approximately that amount Canadian dollars. And that's a real like flagship amount for actually phone amount and uh so yeah still we are only getting 60 hertz panel in that expensive phone and look at that iphone 16 pro max is pulling a really really huge lead and these videos this footage that you're watching is not speed up and uh, this is all happening in real time. But for the synthetic benchmarks, I will quickly be jumping into the results. But as of now, this is all happening in real time. As you can see, this one is about 55% and that one is finished. So it's almost double the performance in GPU section if you are uh, working for exporting a video or uh, as I do I most of the time when I don't have to do much of editing just some um, cutting and merging the clips and uh, maybe adding a, adding a text to a video then I will definitely be going for LumaFusion that is one of the best pieces of software available on iOS and uh, if I need to do something more intensive video editing then I'll definitely go for a Mac or my Final Cut Pro but for phone this will be a huge improvement from my 15 pro max i have already made a video of 15 pro max versus 16 pro max so if you are interested in checking that out i have linked that into the description down below so you can click on that link and uh, check that video out and we will wait for the 16 to finish and we'll see this one is taking a lot, lot longer. So in that time, I can export a four minute video and upload it to a YouTube. And uh, while it's processing, I can work on uh, making a thumbnail for that video. And uh, this one is still getting finished. So yeah, huge, huge difference in the exporting test. And uh, this was a real time footage. No speed up or no editing was gone into the whole export process. And we will go for the iMovie one two and three the app is already loaded but we will do the export test as you can see i have selected a 4k on both of them and yeah as you can see both of these videos both of these projects are three minutes and 56 seconds 4k 30 fps again and uh, as you can see the 16 pro max is again in the lead in this one so putting those gpu cores putting that a18 pro chip to the work and uh, a18 regular is still good but <laughs> like in the exporting and pushing the frame rates i think in the graphic intense work the a18 pro is absolutely a beast and uh, let's look at the battery percentage and uh, as you can see uh this is a little bit of strange result in the battery department and we've been doing the exact same testing, exact same applications, opening, leaving them running in the background for about 20 minutes. Uh, the video has been rolling for 20 minutes. And as you can see, this one, the pro model, the bigger one is at 99% and the regular one is still at 100%. But batteries drain differently at different levels. So we will have to check wait for other youtubers to do a battery test and if you haven't watched it yet i'll definitely recommend uh watching mr who's the boss's video and uh that one explains oh okay this one is at 50 percent and iphone 16 pro max has finished the export again absolute absolute beast of a phone and uh yeah we'll wait for the other one to finish yeah, so this one will be saving me a lot of time because I edit a lot of videos on my phone. So absolute 
absolute great job apple on making the gpu really really quick but the only disappointment that i have both of these phones only have eight gigabytes of ram so because at least the pro models if not all of them at least like the top tier ones like 512 gigabytes and one terabyte models should at least have 12 gigabytes of ram i'm not sure what apple was thinking here maybe they will give us more ram uh like in iphone 17 but still they took a long long time to start giving us more ram on uh, on the macbooks and because it's rumored that the m4 macbooks will start at 16 gigabytes like the regular macbook airs instead of the lousy 8 gigabytes that we get and uh, the iphone 16 is finished and we will move to the synthetic benchmarks and before we do that we will uh, go past and see which of the applications are still loaded in the background snapchat took a little bit of a refresh and we will go for the Instagram. Instagram also got refreshed. I don't blame it because uh, these applications that we just opened, we did a full export. So that was a huge, huge stress on the RAM. So I don't expect all of them to stay open, but if they do, oh, okay, so ChatGPT is still open. So that's a huge, huge win for the RAM management. And we will go for the news. News is still open. Didn't get refreshed. And uh, calculator is still open in the background. No refresh on that. And Assassin's Creed Mirage got refreshed because that's a huge game. So I don't expect to be running in the background. We'll go for GDA San Andreas. Okay, on the 16 Pro Max, that's a great, great deal. So this is a pretty big game. And 16 Pro Max still has GTA San Andreas running while the regular 16 started loading the game from the scratch. And let's go for, okay, so GTA Y City is loaded on both of the devices. So that's a great deal. So iPhone 16 Pro Max is managing the RAM a little bit better than the iPhone 16 regular model. And let's go for the synthetic benchmarks and finish this video strong. And we will go for the speed test. I'll make sure uh, I'm connected to exactly the same server in in both of them and uh, we will connect to Merlin and over here Merlin as well so I won't be running the stress test both uh, it's like the speed test of Wi-Fi on exactly the same devices at exactly the same time because that will mess up and uh, both of them will be hogging data at the same time so we'll go one by one and see which one has quicker speed so we'll start with the pro and uh, we will see how many megabits per second we get so so far pretty good speed we hitting almost 900 and now it's going back and uh, so my router is in like the living room and i'm in my recording space so that's pretty far and as of now i'm getting 884 megabits per second download and the upload speed is also decent 159 megabits per second that's good and now we will move to the regular iphone 16 and we'll see how much uh, of the speed do we get on this one okay <laughs> i did not expect that as you can see, there is a huge difference. This one was almost hitting 1100 megabits per second in download speed. And uh, the upload speed is exactly the same, 159. So no difference in the upload speed, but the download speed is really, really different. So as you can see, almost 200 megabits different. So that's about 21 megabytes per second. So that is a, that is a marginal that is a big difference available in the in the speed but maybe that will be wrong with the connection and something but still both of them are pretty good and both of them has wi-fi 7 available and now for the real synthetic benchmarks we will go to geekbench 6 and we'll see which one loads up quicker almost at the same time we will start with the cpu benchmark first and run the cpu benchmark and uh, we will wait for it to finish all right, folks, the iPhone 16 Pro Max finished up just a tiny bit quicker. And uh, as you can see, the results on here are not a huge difference in the CPU department. So as you can see, the CPU 3216 on the regular 16 and 3298 on the Pro Max. And uh, the multi-core performance is again just a tiny bit difference, not a, not a huge huge difference in that part. And now we'll go for the GPU, that's where I expect things to change. 
Right in the GPU department, this test is taking a lot, lot less time as compared to the CPU. And uh, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is finished and the 16 regular just finished now. So let's see the difference. The GPU metal score on the regular 16 is 27,516 and the other one is 32,800. So about 5,500, so approximately that difference. So still, still a huge difference as we saw because the synthetic benchmarks doesn't tell the whole story but still uh there is a difference so as we saw the exporting times on the 16 pro max was much much quicker and uh the that that exported the files a lot a lot faster as compared to the regular model so we will move forward and test the ai capabilities and uh, here we expect a huge jump as well both of them are capable of uh, running real real artificial intelligence but still they are incomplete products we haven't received any update on the artificial intelligence or apple intelligence as they call it and that will be coming later this year and uh, most of them like most of the processing of the ai will be happening on the neural engine as well as the gpu so we already did the gpu test and uh, for the ai i'll just be doing for the neural engine and we will run the AI benchmarks and we'll see which one pulls the lead and this one. All right, so the result was a little bit surprising for me. The iPhone 16 finished it just a little bit quicker than the 16 Pro Max. And as you see, the results are also pretty, like, just on a little controversial over here. So the neural engine on the both one is I expecting to be same 16 core neural engine on both of them. Single precision score was 4320 and on the right hand side 4494 a little bit better on the Pro Max. Half precision 32153 30389 a little bit better on the Pro Max as well. But quantized one. So that is a 44444 on the regular 16, 44442 on the 16 Pro Max. So that's a little surprising. That's not a huge difference, just like 0.001% difference there. But still, the two points difference is still a difference because this one is almost a $2,000 phone. This one is close to $800 USD. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's still AI features will be running exactly the same on both of them. And uh, we are done with these benchmarks. And now last but not the least, we got uh, 3D Mark available. We will click on the unlimited mode available. And still, we will go for the recommended test, Steel Nomad Light, and start. And we'll see which one is quicker in this one. As still, this is GPU based. I expect the right hand side to take the lead in this one. And uh, as you can see, both of them are going head to head with each other. So um i'm expecting some uh, interesting results so yeah again right hand side is just a couple seconds ahead of the left hand side just a little bit quicker because of that pro chip bigger gpu and stuff and uh, we will wait for this test has to finish and uh, we will review the results in a bit Okay, the iPhone 16 Pro Max finished quicker than the regular 16 as expected. Pro chip, bigger GPU. And uh, let's review the results. So overall score we got here is 1638. And the frames per second is 12.1. And uh, on this one we got the result and uh, the frame rate is pretty similar. And uh, not a huge difference. So as you can see... The overall score is uh, 1,489 in this one, and uh, the average frame rate is 11. So it's like 110 FPS versus 121 FPS, so not a huge difference in these uh, benchmarks. But again, if you're doing the creative applications, and if you want to review and uh, want the full gaming test on uh, the iPhones, like each of them. And I've already made a video on the gaming test for the regular 16, so you can check that out on my channel. And uh, I'm working on the 16 Pro Max gaming video as well, so I'll be posting that one as well soon. 
So the results are pretty interesting and let's review the battery percentage now. As we've been running the stress test for 41 minutes, the video I've been recording for 41 minutes straight. Exactly the same stress test, battery, sorry, brightness was cranked to the max. The iPhone 16 Pro Max was a little bit dimmer on that. So because when iPhone is on load and they're getting a little hot, the screen is dimming automatically even though the level is to the max but this one the regular 16 did not dim the brightness so but this one is still uh f pushing the peak brightness as you can see the battery percentage is a little interesting chart right here so 94 percent and 93 percent i'm not sure what to say right here um because i think the bigger GPU is uh, more demanding and the bigger chip is a little more demanding and uh, chewing up a little bit more battery. So yeah, there you have it, folks. So just my conclusion, if you are a heavy gamer and a power user, let's say you're doing a lot of video editing on your phone or photo editing, taking a lot of pictures and stuff. So definitely it's worth going for the Pro model. And of course, the, if you have a regular 15 Pro, uh, then it's not worth upgrading at all. Not a huge difference this year. But if you're coming from 14 Pro or older, then definitely go for the this model. But if you don't care about uh, the games, you're fine with 60 hertz screen. You don't need the latest camera features. This one is still decent and a nice phone, and uh, it'll save you some money as well. So it's all depending on your use case, and uh, you will be the one to decide which one would you like to go for and uh that's so concludes our review thank you so much for watching so i'm uh, working on the gaming test video for both of them and uh stay tuned for that subscribe if you liked this video and i'll catch you in the next one